elementary schools in ESM. They're rolling out something really cool, a brand new project that teachers and administrators have been hard at work at to get ready for opening day. Yeah, the sensory hallway at Manoa Elementary aims to really bring more inclusivity to students' school experience. Our very own Julia LeBlanc is there with a live look for us this morning. Julia. Hi, Dan and Jennifer. We've got a pretty cool sensory hallway here, a project spearheaded by teachers here at Manoa Elementary. I'll take a swing at it here. We've got the ABCs. I've been practicing earlier. Not so great. <laughs> Kids can take a break in between classes and, you know, just get a break here. Here to tell us all about it are the teachers or the uh, physical therapists and occupational therapists that started it all. Tell me, how did this idea really come about? Uh, well, we started about a year ago seeing some ideas on uh, the internet about how to increase kids' motor activities and um, other ways to get them moving throughout the school day. And so we kind of decided to start designing a project like this about a year ago. Um, and it has taken an entire year and some talking to lots of resources in um, the district um, to help us kind of design it. At that point, Lori kind of went and made a design for us and then we had some wonderful teachers over at the middle school and another elementary school help us um, cut out all of the stickers and then we had physical plant come and help us figure out how to lay it down um, and so that's kind of how it all started. Okay Lori tell me what this does for the kids why is this so important to have here? Well you know what we found is that kids sometimes struggle in the classroom basically getting going again so it sort of gives them like a brain break um, it basically jump starts them for to start writing. So maybe they're sitting in their desk and they've been listening to the teacher and they need that, that little bit of movement to get their brains flowing, to get their bodies moving, and then it just gets them right back to being able to focus for attention. Um, and yeah, I mean, it seems to have really worked with other things that we've done. So we thought we would add another component. Okay, and this is for everybody, right? I mean, Correct. any kid can come through this hallway. Correct. It's right near the main entrance. That's right. Exactly. Um, you know, we've, we certainly have found that a lot of kids really struggle with that ability to re redo it and, you know, sit down and really get going. So we thought, what else could we do? We had sensory stations throughout the building, so why not add a sensory pathway? And that's what we did. So. Okay, all right. Thank you guys so much. Well, Thank there you. you have it. Just an introduction here to this pathway, but there is so much more. Now, coming up in the next half hour, we will give you a sneak peek at the rest of the project. For now, live in Manoa, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs>